Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Vegas Top Dogs YouTube channel update. NFL playoffs are here. Jeff, welcome. Are you ready for some NFL playoffs? I am always ready for the NFL, Tony. Uh, I'm 16-7-1 in the NFL postseason since 2016. Last week, I cashed my top-rated 10-star NFL game of the year. Underdog outright, never in doubt. Tennessee Titans, we had a huge response. Congratulations, everybody that joined me. I've now cashed nine out of my last 10 NFL overall selections. So we'll try to keep it going here in the NFL playoffs. Unfortunately, my free picks here on this video, 0-4 run. So I look to turn that around. Tony's got his black label all ready to go. I was celebrating with a little Johnny Walker after your game of the year winner. Absolutely. It was so much fun. I had a great time, paid a mortgage with it. So yeah, Thanks. no complaints. Hey, I'm looking forward to it. We have two games Saturday, NFL wildcard action, three games Sunday, and a Monday night football playoff game. Um, I'll have my picks loaded up probably tomorrow for the weekend. Uh, we have a, a selection here, a player prop. We have a lot of action, five um, selections on this video. So uh, before we get to them, make sure you like, subscribe, thumbs up, like, subscribe, thumbs up, click that notification bell down below, and you'll be notified each and every time we put out a new video. We'll try to go three and two or better, go 60% with our selections this week. Jeff, I have a couple of picks which go on Saturday, so I guess I'll go first, and then I'll uh, toss it over to you for your selections. Absolutely. I have two player props that go Saturday night, and then I got one for Monday night football. All right, let's let's uh, let's jump right in. Actually, before we jump right in, let's make sure everyone knows VegasTopDogs.com. Bookmark it on your phone. Bookmark it on your desktop computer. Check it out each and every day. Free picks. There's no charge for free picks. Check it out each and every day. Premium picks. We have some red hot cappers, sportsbook bonuses, articles, and more. VegasTopDogs.com. And as always, it's mobile friendly. Uh, my first selection does go on Saturday, and it comes in the game between the uh, Cleveland Browns and Houston Texans. And I like Joe Flacco under the total of 275 and a half passing yards. Let me bring that up here. We're going to go under Joe Flacco's passing yards. They just played on uh, Christmas Eve, December 24th. Flacco had three touchdown passes. He was 27 of 42 for 368 passing yards. You best believe this time around, Houston is going to be ready. This team is very good, um, and uh, they're at home. It's a playoff atmosphere, and uh, I think they're going to force Flacco into making some mistakes. They're going to keep it a lower-scoring game, play around their defense. They have their quarterback back for this game. And uh, I think it's going to be a lower scoring game and Flacco's passing yards are going to stay under the total. So we're going to play him under 275 and a half. I think that's a solid prop play for you in that early game between the Browns and the Texans. Uh, the total in that game, it's set pretty low at 44 and a half. And I think you're going to see Flacco go under the total. Yeah, I have nothing bad to say about that pick. I can't, uh, I don't hate it. All right. My uh, next game is a totals play between the Dolphins and Chiefs. And boy, it's going to be chilly in this game. And I'm going to take it under 44 points. Dolphins, Chiefs, under the total. Now, Dolphins, they're not going to want to be playing. It's going to be zero, sub-zero temperatures with uh, wind chill. It's going to be 30 below. Um, I just, they're not, they're going to, not going to be able to utilize their speed. Um, the turf's going to be frozen, and I just think they're, they're just going to have trouble passing the ball, and uh, I just I just don't see a lot of points being scored here. I, I think uh, they're going to utilize Travis Kelsey a lot in this game, a lot of short dink and dunk passes, and uh, I just don't see a lot of big plays from uh, Miami, and that's how they scored all season long. They're not a cold-weather team, and uh, I think this one stays way under the 44 points. We're taking the Dolphins Chiefs under the total here in the chilly, chilly weather in Kansas City. I have no real opinion on the total in this, in this game. I do have my premium play 
loaded. It's on a side selection in this game at VegasTopDogs.com, so go get that. I have cashed nine out of my last 10 NFL selections, so we'll look to keep it going on Saturday night. Speaking of Saturday night, I have two NFL props in that game, Dolphins at Chiefs. Yes, the game's on Peacock, people. Sign up for Peacock, $5.99. You can cancel it right after the game. Everyone's complaining that it's through a paywall. The NFL wants to make money just like you guys do. First prop, Travis Kelsey over 57 and a half receiving yards. The current line is minus 124. Kelsey has had three consecutive games where he has performed below his usual standards. Just 88 receiving yards total in his last three games. However, his receiving prop will improve. He's got a week of rest. And head coach Andy Reid saves his best design plays for the playoffs. That should benefit Kelsey's performance. Also, tackling Travis Kelsey in sub-freezing temperatures is not going to be easy for this Dolphins team, which is quite banged up, especially at linebacker and on the edge. They're signing guys off the street right now trying to defend this Kansas City Chiefs team. I think it's going to be a tall task for the Dolphins to contain Travis Kelsey in this game. 57 and a half yards go over that number. My second prop, Travis Kelsey, anytime touchdown. The line opened at minus 108. Now it's minus 118, and I still like it. Look, he's got 16 touchdowns in 14 career postseason games. That matches up pretty well against the Dolphins' 28th-ranked red zone defense. You can be sure when the Chiefs are in the red zone, they're going to target Travis Kelsey. He hasn't scored a touchdown, I think, in his last six games. Playoffs, it's Kelsey time. So let's play Travis Kelsey. Anytime touchdown, minus 118. Travis Kelsey over 57 and a half receiving yards, minus 124. My Jeff, third- before we get to your third one, I'm going to throw out a teaser um, for all uh, viewers out there, which goes on Sunday. Uh, two-team teaser. The more I look at it, the more I like it. Dallas Cowboys, let's tease them down to minus one. I just don't see them losing this game at home. I think it may be close, you know, four to seven point game. I think we're going to take Dallas down to one. I'm going to tease the Rams up to plus nine. So two-team teaser for Sunday. Dallas Cowboys minus one. L.A. Rams plus the nine points. Yeah, I love those. Yeah, I love those long teasers where you go through the key numbers of three, six, and seven. I'll be rooting for the Cowboys. As everybody knows, Tony and I, we are both diehard Cowboy fans. So, yeah, go Cowboys. Third prop play for this video. We're going to take Cade Otten over 21 and a half receiving yards. It's currently minus 122. He's a tight end for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, in case you've never heard of him. That goes Monday night, right? Monday night, yes. Monday night football. Eagles, they've struggled to defend tight ends all season long. Check this out. Since their week 10 bye, opposing tight ends have exceeded this number in seven out of eight games. In week 11, Kelsey had 44 yards. Kincaid had 38 in week 12. Kittle had 68 in week 13. Jake Ferguson, 72 in week 14. Darren Waller had 32 in week 16. McBride for the Cardinals had 48 in week 17. And then Darren Waller had another 45 yards in week 18. Cade Otten, he plays 90% of the snaps for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at tight end. Now, according to my model, I have him at 42 receiving yards. Simulations, however, have him at 48.9. I think he could get this within one or two catches. So let's play Kate Otten over 21 and a half receiving yards. Monday night football for my third and final prop on VegasTopDogs.com YouTube video.
I like it. I like it. Four props, one teaser, one total. A lot of action for all viewers here on the Vegas Top Dogs YouTube channel update. I'm even going to go out on a limb here and say if the Eagles lose on Monday night, they're going to fire their head coach next week. Yeah, you know, I heard a rumor about that. And, you know, Nick Sirianni started 10-1 and one yeah. this season. And then, you know, they got banged up a little bit. So, yeah, he's definitely on the hot seat. I would definitely. say Mike I would say Mike McCarthy is on the hot seat. Absolutely. Jerry Jones, you know, Jerry Jones, he does a weekly radio show, probably the only owner that does a weekly radio show. And he's already said as much that if – Mike McCarthy doesn't make a deep run into the playoffs. He will be looking for a new coach that he can control. All right, let's go uh, four and two or better, Jeff. I think we have uh, some solid picks. I'm looking forward to the games and uh, looking forward for uh, some winners for both of us. Absolutely. We'll see you next week, everybody. Good luck and let's win some cash. Absolutely, guys. Be sure to visit VegasTopDogs.com. As always, be sure to – um, hit that notification bell, like, subscribe, thumbs up, and as always, good luck and be a winner.